A very good morning to you. It is the 27th of August, Thursday, 2020, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. If we look at the Word of God in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24, the Word says there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And then if we look at James chapter 2 and verse 23, it says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted unto him as righteousness, and he was known as the friend of God. The Lord looked down from heaven, and he saw that farmer Abraham, and he said, he is my friend. I don't think there's many other people in the Bible that have been called a friend by God. Why? Because he believed God, and because he did what God asked him to do. Now, there are many, many lonely people in the world today with this lockdown. People are distressed, people are fearful, and people are stressed out. They need someone to talk to. They need a friend. Now, if you want a friend, you have to be a friend. You have to spend time with that person. You have to get to know them. You have to have daily quiet times. You have to pray. Not just for five minutes a day, but all day, every area of your life. You need to read the scriptures every morning, systematically and continually. You need to seek counsel from your friend, and you need to enjoy each other's company. And now this is a beautiful letter for you from a friend. I just had to write to tell you how much I love you and care for you. Yesterday, I saw you walking and laughing with your friends. I hoped that soon you'd want me to walk along with you too. So I painted you a sunset to close your day and whispered a cool breeze to refresh you. I waited. You never called. I just kept on loving you. As I watched you fall asleep last night, I wanted so much to touch you. I spilled moonlight onto your face, trickling down your cheeks as so many tears have. You didn't even think of me. I wanted so much to comfort you. The next day I exploded a brilliant sunrise into glorious morning for you. But you woke up late and you rushed off to work. You didn't even notice. My sky became cloudy and my tears were the rain. I love you. Oh, if you'd only listen, I really love you. I try to say it in the quiet of the green meadow and the blue sky. The wind whispers my love throughout the treetops and spills it into the vibrant colors of all the flowers. I shout it to you in the thunder of the great waterfalls and compose love songs for birds to sing for you. I warm you with the clothing of my sunshine and perfume the air with nature's sweet scent. My love for you is deeper than any ocean and greater than any need in your heart. If you'd only realize how I care. My dad sends his love. I want you to meet him. He cares too. Fathers are just that way, you know. So please call on me soon. No matter how long it takes, I'll wait because I love you, your friend Jesus. May God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.